All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. Um, this one's going to be a REF3130. And it is a voltage reference. So that's why it says ref. Um, this is from Texas Instrument. It is micro size, so it's going to be a SOT23. Um, the really, really cool thing about this one is the dropout voltage, which is insane on it. Okay, so here's a graph of the dropout voltage. So at 5 milliamps of current draw, uh, the dropout voltage is 50 millivolts. 50 millivolts. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, it is a plus and minus. It's plus and minus as well. It'll sink in source current. That's just crazy. But anyway, um, here at um, plus 10 uh, milliamps, uh, it is a dropout of 100 millivolts. So super, super low dropout. But yeah, we're going to be operating it down here. Um, so what other things does this uh, data sheet have to say? Um, it says here, uh, excellent maximum drift. Uh, so 40 to, uh, from zero to 70 degrees C, that's even bigger. A lot of instruments are designed between 40, uh, zero and 40 for kind of home use. Um, but zero to 70 is a good, a good number here. Zero to 70 C, um, the specified drift is 15 ppm per degree C. And at three volts, uh, 15 ppm is 45 millivolts, uh, microvolts, I'm sorry, microvolts. So 45 microvolts per degree C. Um, so if you have a 10 degree rise in temperature, you're only gonna see a, a 450 uh, microvolt change. So that's, that's pretty incredible. All right, <clears throat> let's go some other pages here. Like I said, I have the uh, three volt, the three volt version, but it comes in a, a 1.25 up to a, this is a really, really cool one. It's 4096. So if you run this as a, as your reference for a, a A to D or D to A and stuff, um, yeah, you can, you can get a, a 2048 and a, a 4096. So that's pretty nice. Um, this is the three volt part and out of the box, it's guaranteed to 0.2%, plus or minus 0.2%, uh, the initial voltage. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's good enough for a lot of applications. Uh, down here is the dropout voltage again, uh, typically five millivolts, but maximum of 50. Um, <clears throat> output current was this plus or minus 10 milliamps. Push pull, that's kind of weird. Um, pretty cool graphs. <laughs> This is long-term stability for various gra for various parts. Uh, drift is around uh, yeah, 60, 60 ppm over a thousand hours. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, this is a good graph. Uh, you learn you learn a lot by looking at data sheets. If you want to learn electronics, read data sheets um, and understand what each thing means. Okay, so here the output drift. Okay with temperature. So this is how the voltage changes with temperature. And you can see here, remember I was talking about going from zero to 70, which would be this range, but under zero to 40 degrees C, which is pretty standard stuff. I mean, if you're running around 40 degrees, that's pretty hot. Um, and uh, yeah, it's like just hardly anything there. So they, they've balanced it. So it's very, very nice right in that range. And then it drops off on the, on the, on the, uh, the sides. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got? Uh, all kinds of transients on startup and all kinds of stuff. It talks about how it actually works. You've got two transistors and they're biased differently. So there's a, there's a delta voltage across there because one has more current running into the other. And then that's some type of uh, positive voltage a positive temperature coefficient, but then you run it into an inverting amplifier, which has a negative uh, uh, voltage with temperature and it balances each other out. So that's how it works. And because it's being driven, it's plus and minus. Um, <clears throat> what else do we got? Uh, noise. This is a 0.1 to 10 Hertz noise. A uh, bunch of Sample circuits of what you might want to do with it. Use it in the A to D, D to A. Um, tells you, you know, laid out like this. Um, yeah, very cool. Nice data sheet. 
as usual for Texas Instrument Company. All right, so here's my little part down there. So uh, I've put it on a little a board here. It's a SOT 23, so I put it on a little, a little board that converts it to a dip. And uh, let's hook it up. And uh, I'm going to load it with a thousand ohms. Um, and let's uh, let's see how it does. Okay, so I have the uh, little board here, and we're going to be monitoring uh, the output voltage. And I'm going to turn up. We're now inputting 3.3 volts, and it's it's regulating. It's regulating here to 303. So I'm going to change the input voltage until we just start to see a change. And that dropout is happening right about there. Okay, so 3035, and the input is 3084. So uh, 84 minus 35 is 49 millivolts as guaranteed. <laughs> so 49 millivolts of dropout is crazy. Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty nuts. Let's see how we're doing here. Let's do it again. Let's do it again because it has moved a little bit since I turned it on. So we're going to max out here at 30, 306. That was right there. Okay, so 58 and 104, 104, 58 is 46 millivolts of drop. So 46 millivolts dropout. That's just nuts. <laughs> that is just nuts. Anyway, uh, there you go. A uh, super tiny little, teeny tiny little package. And uh, yeah, comes in different voltages. Pretty nice part.